Hello everyone, welcome to Chasing Diecast Cars. Now first of all I want to apologize because this video is going to be some kind of a rant on a uh, Belgian toy store. Um, I'm sorry you have to hear this but I just have to get it out of my system. Um, this is the first video here in the new film studio I have created with a new camera so lots of more videos to follow um, so let's start with my first frustration on this uh, toy store one that most of you probably won't even know because it's a Belgian toy store is the price of the Hot Wheels so the first time I've been collecting now for over a little over a year and the first time I bought a Hot Wheel with them I have, I have the bill here, I keep all my bills so this was um, in May 29 of 2017 sorry um, and the price was 1 euro and 49 cents in euro so dollars at the current exchange rate that's about one dollar and seventy three cents so that's already in comparison to what uh, our American friends pay that's already quite a lot of money the next day went to another uh, toy store of theirs so you can see here, uh, sorry, May 30, 2017, I paid 1.95 euro. So that's already almost 50 euro cents more. If you calculate that at the current exchange rate of the US dollar, that's two dollars and twenty-six dollar cents then next time I bought Hot Wheels there because I don't buy a lot of Hot Wheels there because they're just too expensive I buy them elsewhere um, in Belgium when they are on sale but I also buy them uh, abroad because Belgium is a very small country I live in the uh, Flanders region the Dutch speaking part of Belgium I'm only 20 minutes away from uh, the Netherlands, 40 minutes from France and 2 hours from Germany. So I go a lot to these uh, neighboring countries to buy uh, stuff there, uh, Hot Wheels but other stuff too. Um, and especially in Germany they are a lot cheaper. Uh, they are in some stores only 1 euro. So that's about current rate one dollar and sixteen dollar cents so that's a lot cheaper so next time I bought a Hot Wheel there was in January of 2018 sorry uh, price was uh, two euro and twenty euro cents so that's about two dollars and fifty five dollar cents price is still going up now currently this is a bill from uh, May 26 2018 so that's about a year after I bought the first one in 2017 price has gone up to a whopping two dollars uh, two euros sorry and 69 cents that's about three dollars and twelve dollar cents and there's even stores that are more expensive here but there's only a few so that's my first complaint the price of these Hot Wheels is just outrageous then my second complaint is the fact that over the past year since I started collecting uh, they stopped selling a lot of diecasts, so um, they don't sell a Motor Max anymore, no Maisto, no Norev, 
no real toy the die cast stuff of Dickie toys they don't sell anymore only the plastic stuff and then still available but cut down a lot is uh, Siku, Majorette and a lot of trucks so what's still available uh, in die cast is uh, the Disney Pixar cars I mean, those, uh, yeah. I don't really collect them Hot Wheels of course, Burago, uh, some uh, Ferrari cars and then some other stuff too uh, and RMZ City they sell under their own brand the brand is just called Dreamland like the store now when you buy Hot Wheels there this is as this, uh, these are short cards like they are in, mostly in, in Europe this is the best you can get them so a creased card but at least it's still in one piece because many are ripped up um, that's that's the best condition you can buy them in because they put them in these uh, cylinder shaped dumb bins so you throw them in at the top and then you pick them out at the bottom so all the cars are pressing down on each other and they are that way the, the cars get creased because you can only take them out at the bottom so it's that way and that way so not a good system it's very stupid um, so for a card collector I'm not really a card collector but for a card collector uh, someone who keeps their cards carded uh, this this store and many other stores here because most of them use these cylinder shaped dump bins they are uh, an absolute nightmare now one other thing I want to complain about these sets here I'm going to bring them closer these are Majorette SOS cars 3 packs so Majorette makes them for many countries this is the Belgian version but you also have French version Dutch version, German version and so on and so on a lot of European countries but also Australia um, a lot of different liveries for so many countries so these uh, these are uh, these were for sale at Dreamland for $7.99 now a while ago I discovered they also have two stores in France so I went out there to check what they had if their stuff they're selling in France is different from here turned out it was the same and even uh, these uh, Majorette SOS cars were not the French versions they were selling but the Belgian versions selling in France so instead of the $7.99 that we have to pay here in Belgium these were for sale for only 5 euro you can see here it's in French vehicle SOS cars 7.5 centimeters Belgium 3 pack only 5 euro so that's 3 euros less in France so that's about no, that's about five dollars and eighty cents. Normal price here in Belgium, seven ninety nine euro. That's about nine dollars and twenty seven cents. So the French get the benefit of being able to buy them a lot cheaper than we do. This was in November two thousand seventeen. So recently I went back, I went back in May 2018, still had them there, and now they were only 1 euro. So about $1.16. So while we always had to pay $7.99 for them, the French were able to buy these for only one euro I don't get that why do they get such a benefit and we don't I don't get it 
Now, clearly, they were selling these out. They were trying to get rid of them. At this time, in May 2018, these weren't available anymore in uh, Belgium. So they were selling them out in France. So when I saw that, I thought, I'm going to buy a bunch of them, you know? I want to have a lot of these, because, you know, you can build a police force with only one car. That's not possible. And even so, uh, when I would like to do some trading in the future, you know, for instance, uh, to trade with SOS car sets from other regions, I need a lot of them, right? To be able to trade. So, okay, I admit, maybe I exaggerated a little bit. Uh, I think I wanted to take like 50 pieces, which would only cost me 50, 50 euro for all those cars. And that was too much, okay? That's uh, scalping or that's, I don't know what you can call it, but that was a little exaggerated, okay? But when I wanted to leave the store and I came at the, the cashier, he told me I could only take two of each. So there's two different sets. I could only buy two of each. Because they thought I was going to sell these on online. So I explained to him what I just said. I'm not going to sell them. Uh, I want to, I'm a collector. I keep some loose. I keep some carded. And the rest I want to use for possible trades. But he, he his boss told him, no, he can only buy two of each. So that didn't really make me happy. But you know, what can you do? Uh, I had to uh, take what I could and, and, and leave. But I also asked him, uh, if I come back, can I buy more? Yes, he said. So what's that all about? Anyways, uh, I went back uh, a week later and bought another four. So I had, at least I have some. But, you know, I want to open one set of each. I want to keep carded or boxed one set of each. I have two godchildren, so I want to give them each two sets. And you know, if I want to do some trading, uh, I'm not going to have a lot of them left for the future. But you know, that's how it is. But uh, that made me really angry. And you know, I can understand they wouldn't let me buy 50, but at least let me buy, I don't know, 10 of each or something. More than, than what they allowed me to now. That's just stupid and, and, and really. And the fact that they are. They have cut down on, on die-casts so much. Um, just gives me no reason anymore to go there. You know, there's just some stuff I probably will pick up in the future um, when they do a sale. Uh, they have some leftover uh, Siku sets um, that I'm interested in. You know, these, these big trucks they have, they sell them at like half price after a while when they're not getting sold. So I will probably pick these up and um, you know, but they've cut down on so much there's really not a reason for me to go there anymore much. So um, in time they, they will completely lose me as a client because uh, the prices are too high and, and the stuff they are selling is, is it's just become so little and, and, and so overpriced that uh, it's just not worth it to go there anymore and even so the store here where I live um, it's uh, their parking lot during the week is full of cars from people that work above the store so you can't even park there during the week. So you have to go on Saturday to be able to get a parking space because then people aren't working at that work above the, the store and then the parking lot is free. So what's that all about? I mean, it's stupid. Anyways, um, I hope I didn't bore you guys too much with this. Um, maybe some Belgian people will recognize it or and a lot of you will laugh at it probably but I just had to get it out of my system and, and, and have it done and it's a it's a good test video for the new setup and the new camera and uh, 
I will make much more enjoyable videos in the future, I promise. So for now, thank you very much for watching and hope to see you again next time. Bye bye.